as you've heard, welcome back to Pikmin 4. Today, we're getting back to the giant's hearth, hopefully getting a lot closer to completing it, but before we do, we have plenty of side quests to cash in, like for Bernard. You're making some real good progress curing, folks. You know what that means, reward time. We get ourselves 30 more materials right over there. I like your pace, keep it up. We will, so we gotta cure more leaflings as soon as I can, I definitely will. Um, but in the meantime, I think I found the, uh, I think I just saw them. This over here should be maybe the fortune teller? Maybe not? Horatio, you're the one who saved me, yes? I should do something to thank you. Yes, I will give you a present. How about a thank you? Wahaha, <laughs> who wouldn't be happy to just have someone thank them? And I guess, uh, my name is, well, it's not worth mentioning, really. And what is your name? Hmm, Zebra? Ha <laughs> ha what a fine name that is. Well then, from now on, you and I are friends, Zebra. It is done. I'm glad, I'm glad. Well, that was Horatio. I don't know what happened at the fortune teller. We gotta be around somewhere, but we'll run into them eventually. There were other quests that we completed, I believe. You may be wrong. Oh yeah, the blooming one. So we'll definitely just go over here and figure this out. Hello. See so yeah, a well, thanks a ton, you win the whole lot of Pikmin. It really says the same thing as before, so we get 30 more material there and that mission is complete. Okay, and then a new one will start off. Just another 300 as per usual. We'll keep chipping away at it. Uh, but we're up to 241, so we should be able to get one of the major upgrades now. And yeah, there's a few more people to meet around here. Well, 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 if it isn't my little rescue pal. The name's Alpin, founder and CEO of a company called E-Leader. But seriously, you're a real hero. I've got nothing but gratitude. I'm glad. Yes, indeed. It's an honor to be rescued by an up-and-coming up hero such as yourself. And yet, I see that Mr. Fox, the fellow I traveled here with, has yet to be found. We'll hopefully be able to find them soon. But this mission was when I found Chowder, the CEO of this company. Oh man, for a humble real estate agent, I sure did cause you quite a hassle, didn't I? The name's Chowder, by the way. Don't suppose you've heard of Tobol Real Estate? You haven't, huh? Guess I need to work on my marketing. I guess so. When you're in business as a real estate agent, let me tell you, hearing about new untouched land really puts the pet back in your step. You just have to go check it out for yourself. After all, you can't give a place your seal of approval sight unseen. You've gotta experience it in first and first. Okay, if you say so. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so grateful to you for rescuing my employer. This couldn't possibly be enough. You've done so very much for us, but please, take this. We've got 50 more material right there. That is fantastic, so we have rescued Chowder. Um, very cool. I would like to sincerely thank you, once again, for all of your help for coming to our aid, Zebra Nochi. My employer doesn't always consider the, the risk to himself. His first priority is making enough money to pay his employees. He's always putting us first, and I honestly don't know what the company would do without him. Well, that's great, sounds like a good boss. And how about you? This is Kit. Thank you for saving me. My name's Kit. I spend most of my time investigating minerals. In fact, that's what I came here to do. The minerals on this planet are amazing. It's got so many different kinds of minerals that, ah, I'm sorry, I started to get carried away there. The important thing is that you know how much I appreciate you rescuing me. I'm glad. Anybody else that's new? Oh, here you go, this must be the fortune teller. Yes, the vision, it came to me. Yes, I had a vision where you were the one who saved my life. The great will of the galaxy is always right. You must also pay thanks to the galaxy for letting it be so. My name is Bernice, I am a teller of fortunes, guided by the great will of the galaxy that led me to this very planet. And to you and the countless living things that exist on the sphere, through me, you may all now speak with the great will. What does it have to say? The voice of the voiceless grows louder indeed. The truth of the day they bestow upon uh, unto thee, let them speak. It's a Mista Rhea. It's a mystery? Any chance could be lost in a pinch. Don't jump right in, in without thinking. Be cautious, especially around pearly clam clamps. Okay. I'm not exactly sure what that's supposed to be like hinting towards, but I guess we'll look out for that enemy specifically. But that seems to be about everybody we can talk to. Let's go and get our upgrades at the lab, because I know that uh, we have enough for at least one of the bigger ones. Let's get to it. So 
right over here. Air armor plus plus. The air surrounding Ochi gets packed into one fourth of the space. You're about to witness the ultimate impact reducer. That sounds amazing and we'll work towards the next one soon enough. Was there anything else I needed? Probably two more of the bomb rocks just because we um, used up some of them before. All right, so at this point, unless there's some uh, pup points I can spend. Yeah, I have seven pup points. I'm definitely gonna spend them here then. So we'll train Ochi up some more. We got Learn Mega Rush number two. So this skill maximizes the shock from impact, increasing the damage to creatures. That sounds amazing. So we'll get that upgraded. And we'll also upgrade Lord Doggy Paddle level three. When Ochi dives, he can transport treasure from below the surface and bite underwater creatures too. That sounds really, really useful. Hopefully we'll be able to make the most out of it. And that means there's only a few more upgrades left over. We'll keep working on it and eventually we'll get there. Keep up the good work and remember no slacking. Okay, well, let's resist slacking by just going to um, Giant's Hearth again. So, ready to explore, back to that area. We got over 50% last time, but that's not quite enough. We need to shoot for as close as we can get to 100% this time around. So off we go, back to the Giant's Hearth, and then maybe we'll take on Louie for fun. <laughs> we still gotta do that too. Okay, so we're back here at the big sort of brick area. And I definitely wanna get to some stuff here as soon as possible. So I'm just gonna jump up here, call in our Pikmin, have a hundred of them, and we're marching off. The sooner we can get to the top of this building and start working on some stuff from here, I think the better. So all of our Pikmin are coming over. And then we could scope things out with the survey drone, but I'm not really too interested in there. All of our Pikmin are scrambling over. We could climb up this wall. There's not much I've done up here yet. I'll have to hop off of Ochi for it, but pretty easy to get up here. Now, as you can see, five Pikmin can get that um, floor-like, and then right over here, oh no, some of the Pikmin are falling off the side, but we get ourselves a little, uh, what is it called, a shish kebab, right? Something like that. I can't quite get up there from here. Oh, but I can climb up this thing. This is like a little top to the grill. And just get one Pikmin over there. And look who I see over that way. I don't know how we get over there, but there is another leafling. Yeah, how do I do that, I wonder? There must be some other way on the other side. So what I would like to do now, get down this way, and before I do anything, I think I'm going to disband my Pikmin like this. Oh, and they got the floor looking, no problem. So that's gonna make a bunch of nectar, maybe even some spicy nectar. I guess we'll see. There it goes. We'll use that soon enough. Release more nectar. This must be how it processes nutrients from the extra floor like. Okay, see, I just want to disband. Uh, okay, not exactly how I wanted to do that, but I just want all but one fire Pikmin. And then hopefully, okay, you guys. <laughs> it gets so silly when I'm trying to do things this way. Uh, disband again. Because I'm just trying to get the one fire thing. Maybe some Pikmin will drown. I don't know. That's just, because I'm just trying to get the one thing and it's so frustrating to like control it the way I want to. So hopefully that will follow me over here. It will. Okay. Whatever. If some Pikmin follow me, what more can I do? We need to get this thing on the other side. Like this. I've tossed you over. Then we, we get your attention again. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. And then toss it over here. Now with that burnt, we're good to go. Do we have enough Pikmin for this? We don't. I don't think so. Uh, yeah, we, we have six out of 10. So if I can just get some of the water Pikmin over, which would be really easy. I just call everybody over here. Not this. There we go. All right, you come over then. And here comes the whole army. I really didn't need this many, but it's okay. It seems like they can get across. They just really don't like it. And they all lose their bloom from it too. So I guess it's good that we're getting nectar then. So let's get over here, send some Pikmin over. We really don't need much. And then with that down there, we can finally get Ochi over here and just get a lot more done. So paper bag lowered. Let's get Ochi to run over here. So I think Ochi's just right up that way. So come on over, buddy. Cause I can't jump up, up here very easily. Yep, okay. So ride everybody here and get back up this way. We can start climbing up these bricks, which is pretty cool. A little platforming. And then, ooh, this thing should be really easy. We just go like that. I just see all those Pikmin over there, but they're just gonna have to stay there. And I think I can make this jump. There we go. 
And then from up here, there's at least you to tackle. Hi. <laughs> You're just waiting out here? These leaf links, they really are all over the place, huh? Come, it is Dan Dory time. All right. I'll follow your lead and we'll hop down there. They're completely consumed by the art of Dandori. We've got to free them. Well, that's exactly what I'll do then. So, new cave discovered. I guess we should wait for that one thing to be brought over. There it goes. I just wanna make sure that gets done. You can see the treasure way down there. Uh, got it? Now we can go. So this is strategic freezeway. Collect all the treasures and creatures within the time limit. Sounds like a plan. We got fire, or red Pikmin, and ice Pikmin teamed up with us. All right. No need for introductions. I see who you are through Dandori. Show me your Dandori. All right, well, I hope this one's not so bad. It looks like there's a couple of things we can do straight away. Um, I guess for now, I'll get one of these fire flame things. Would this defeat a frozen enemy more easily? Oh, it does, does definitely do some damage. So maybe we'll do this and then we will send, oh, maybe not the best idea, but that does some stuff. And then we can just go like this. Come on, help me out, Hirochi. Get everybody back over and start carrying you over. Then I wanna break this stuff open and then it should be frozen basically. Oh yeah, it's already frozen, whoops. Okay, didn't even realize that. We get more ice picking out of that one. Don't wanna waste too much more time though. We gotta get over here. So we got six and a half minutes, which is a lot of time for sure, but I don't know. Ooh. If we do this, yeah, the ice goes away, which is cool. Uh, I mean, I guess it's the opposite of cool, huh? Uh, is there any more? Yeah, there's one right up here, so we just toss out like that, and then I start breaking this guy a little bit. If we go there like this, come on. Boom, that didn't really break it as much as I was hoping. We'll ride you, and then yeah, try to break you open, go over here and Toss this over like this. Ooh, that broke it. Now you're in trouble, but you're eating some of my Pikmin straight away, which is definitely not what I wanted. Come on, come on, help out. Why is this fight not working? That was weird. It gives a big tomato, which is cool, but I'm really bummed that I lost Pikmin there. We'll get 10 Pikmin on there. Uh, the rest of it will probably save for a little bit, because over here, I have some more red Pikmin I can save. And I definitely wanna do that. So I think in the meantime, send Ochi to this thing. Call these Pikmin over. Sure, get them to use the nectar. I need that. Um, but I need this fire and then just to toss it over this way. And while that's happening, I guess yeah, this bridge still needs to be worked on. I can't just jump down now. Doesn't work that way. A little unfortunate. Uh, but there's gotta be another one around here. I mean, there was over here. So I definitely just wanna toss that over. Pick some ice Pikmin. That's why they call them Pikmin. After all, we have to pick them out of the floor. Okay, and then I will send the whole group over there. And then, yeah, ride back on Ochi. We could definitely do a thing or two, because there's probably gonna be more ice Pikmin beyond this, right? There is. So, do this, and I gotta call some friends over, because there's definitely gotta be more. Here, toss that, just do some damage that way. I don't know if that really did much, but call them over, call them over. Ooh, be careful. Uh, plan carefully, where to work from. Yep. I plan on it. So, do all that, and I think we got all the Pikmin over. Definitely just throw over whatever I can, which seems to be this for now. Got it? So you know what? We're gonna send all the ice Pikmin over, and then, oh, call them back over! Wait, wait! Here, do this, and then back to here. As much as I can. Oh, we gotta call them back now. Ooh, scary. Got it. And then everybody work on this, I guess, for a bit, right? Send some more over there. Lots of red Pikmin to work on this part, and then even Ochi, if he doesn't mind. There we go. So, I wanna reorder some things a little bit here. Send this group here, this group there, and then Ochi to this. And we should get a couple of things done, right? I'm gonna call whatever Pikmin are, you know, still around. To get them to start working on stuff. Got it. Don't leave Pikmin standing idle. I'm really trying not to. Uh, send a couple more over this way. So we got a lot going on at the moment. There's still some Pikmin over there that need some assistance, it seems. But, okay, there are some enemies over here that we can maybe just help by punching ourselves. <laughs> Cause I just don't have any other Pikmin available. So I'm just gonna punch through them and it seems to be working pleasantly. Um, transport more and more. Oh, hey, help me out, Ochi. There we go, perfect. So we're going to have Ochi charge this. 
and we get more stuff out of it. So first things first is we get three Pikmin on that, Ochi on this thing, right? Really starting to run out of time a little bit, but maybe I can call whatever idle Pikmin there are over here. Which mostly looks like ice Pikmin, but if I just have one red Pikmin, that can make all the difference. So we get that, we get back over here, and how are we doing with everything? It looks like it's mostly the gold stuff that I'm working on now. So if I can get that over, I can send a whole group over here to work on this and whoever's left over can just join me because we still haven't done anything with this bridge. And that does make me a little bit nervous. So, I mean, luckily we can make some quick work with it just because everybody is super duper close. Uh, and then whoever else is left over needs to work on this gold pile over here as well as, I guess this, but can't do that quite yet. Here, let's, one, two, three. And even if it is just a couple of Pikmin, get them to work on this. And then once again, we'll just call whoever's idle, but with two minutes remaining, I think that we got most things. I don't see anything really besides this gold pile. So it's really just making sure that once that bridge gets built, calling all of these people over, and then it's getting them to all fully focus on this. Okay, once again, more idle Pikmin, whoever might be available. Oh, is this all of them right here? Okay, guys, go, go, go. This has gotta be it, right? I don't know, I might be missing stuff. What's over here? Because why does that look like, I don't know. Um, You beat my record. Uh, I arrived at this destination. Everything's jumping up a lot more now, but maybe I should just get Ochi to sniff things out just in case, that's not what I wanted. Command. Sniff out treasure. Because I don't know. Let's see. Did that not work? Was there nothing else? Uh, your dandori mastery. There's something, but where? What is it? Uh, okay, we have a minute to figure it out. Oh, is it this? just this one enemy over here? It might just be this one enemy. So, I'll just get Ochi to do it then. That's gotta be it, so Ochi's gonna gobble that guy up. I don't see anything else. I'm rushing around as much as I can. It definitely wasn't like a buried treasure. So that's gotta be at the 10 remaining. And we had a ton of time left over. If I improved my Dandori a little bit, we could have gotten an amazing score, but that's gotta be it. There it is. We get that platinum trophy. I'm just really happy to see that then. That's it. Very cool. So look at all of our wonderful rewards with this one. We get a total score of 180 plus the extra time is gonna push us to 229. So we could have gotten a really high score if I did just figure that out sooner. Your Dandori is too good. I could never beat, as I promised, your reward. It's 30 pieces of raw material. Well, I'm glad I could help. Looks like they passed out. This is our chance to rescue them. So as per usual, another leafling saved. I think we're running out of cure though. What we'll the find out soon. So back to the surface, we'll definitely get some Pikmin to take care of this as soon as possible. With all that leaf growth, there's no way to tell who this is. But it doesn't matter, it's our job to rescue them and then we're not gonna close the lid. They always say the same thing. Cool. All right, so we just need three Pikmin on this one. So one, two, three, and we'll see what else is around. Cause I think for the most part, we're plopping down here, going into this big area, which seemed totally scorched as if there was a big fire there. So I guess there was like a big fire pit, yeah. So that's pretty cool. And it looks like there's like one big green thing there. That's gotta be an enemy. It's gotta be. So we're gonna march over there and deal with that. But then we're really making some crazy progress through this. Uh, so maybe I'll wait for a second and wait for our friend to get zipped up. Where do they go? Um, okay, they're on their way. That was taking a slow way, it seems. So I guess they'll do that. Let's see what's going on in here. Uh, first things first is we'll get Ochi and the gang to dig up some stuff here. What will they find? Oh my. Uh, whoa, lots of little materials. Our dirt mound excavation is completed. Call the rest of them over and they just get to get launched way over there. Huh. Interesting. Um, okay, I'm avoiding it because I know it's gonna be a big scary monster. Oh no, I think we've sort of run into this guy before though. And if I remember correctly from that, I gotta hit them up on the side, but <laughs> of course. Leafly recovered, good work. Yeah, yeah, let's just get back to our fight. Uh, I want to free these poor leaflings from their endless obsession with Dandori. 
Me too, buddy. But let's do this first. Um. Okay, so let's actually grab our Pikmin back, send Ochi over for sure, but we wanna pump everybody up. So just keep hitting them from the side like this. I think that's like a better move in general. There we go. Call them back over, call them back over. Ooh, you're not happy about it, huh? Okay. Yeah, hitting them from the, oh my goodness, they got the, they got really good jumps. Okay, that was crazy. I was not expecting that. Just jump to the moon. No, no, move it, move it, move it. Ah, oh, we're losing a lot of rock picking right now. Come on, as soon as they start to turn a little bit, they're gonna jump again, they're gonna jump again. Ah! Okay, we're fine. Definitely send Ochi out too. I mean, I guess we could probably throw like a bomb or something right when they eat like that, but I don't wanna do that just yet. No, more of a Pikmin. Come on, they're about halfway there. I'm gonna pump everybody up again, here it comes. Oh, you're, oh no! Oh, that was a rough one. I don't know if I should keep going from this or if I should reload. Not good. They ate up so many Pikmin that time. All right, okay, this is not good. Call everybody over. I also have a bad feeling about this. I'm sorry, Ochi. Come on, just throw as many as I can. I know it's not much anymore, but. Keep at it, keep at it. We're gonna jump over. Sooner or later, here it comes, here it comes. So I'm calling everybody over. I'm gonna hop onto Ochi. And then, I don't know if this tackle will stun them. It looks like it doesn't. Okay, move everybody over before they get gobbled. We're losing more Pikmin now, but we're so, so close. Oh, oh I think we can spat some of them out. Get them over, get them over. We gotta move it. Where's Ochi? I don't know where Ochi is. Uh, Did Ochi faint? Oh, no. No, no, there you are. We lost even more Pikmin from that one. We're so close to defeating you. I'm just gonna keep at it. Come on. Ochi's helping out now too. Come on, just a little bit more. We just don't have much left. <laughs> Come on, got you. Wow, that was tough. Oh no, we need 30 Pikmin for this one so Ochi will handle it. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> just eats him in one bite. And okay, well we might have just found, is this what I think it is? I think it's a rock onion. All right, well this would help us get more of the rock Pikmin back at. Oh, -ho. are we sure this is even an onion? It's kind of rock colored. <laughs> well, I guess we'll work on this now. Oh, what a nightmare that was though. I was hoping it would turn out a bit better, but we finally get a rock onion. So I guess I'll just jump over this way. Yeah, I don't really get the point of that. <laughs> but they're gonna be bringing that onion over. We got some more Pikmin over here. And I guess if I go like this, yeah, I don't have any left over. So it's definitely gonna be worth it to work on getting some more. Uh, the red and blue Pikmin, we well, like, got a pretty good spot with. Definitely have to get a lot of these guys to, uh, there you go, eat up the stuff. So there we go, whoa, get that bad enemy zipped up there. Big bad enemy, very scary, but how are they doing with moving the, the garlic over, the onion? I don't see them. Oh, they're not at all. Great, okay. Let's go help them then. Oh, it's 30, that's why. That makes a lot more sense than why they can't get it over. All right, everybody work on that then. We'll throw over a couple more if possible just to help speed it along. There we go, that helps out a ton. If I could get yeah, a bunch of them more on because we're halfway through today. We're at 73% of the way through. Clearly there's more to get done, but there we go. We almost have. 60 on there, but looks like it's only gonna take 59. <laughs> okay, maybe it goes. They're trying to find a way out, they're not really finding it. That's okay, that's gonna move a lot faster. And then as soon as that's done, I guess we can just start working on getting rock pigment pellets and stuff like that. That would be really good. Cause I need a lot more. Anyways, they're zipping that up. Our fifth onion upgrade, so cool. This is the rock one. Took us a long time to find it, but it's well worth it. Hooray! I'm excited to see just how many times we can fuse this thing. Me too. All right, fuse five onions complete. So as soon as this turns to like a rock color, that's blue. Unfortunate thing is I just gotta wait around so long. Um, Here we go, rock, rock, got it. So hopefully they'll stay that color as they get brought back and I'll just slowly improve our rock Pikmin numbers. What about over here? 
I don't know if there's anything I can do yet to get it to go any faster. I just hope it stays that way as we try to break it open. There it goes, okay, cool. So we're good to go with all of that. Going on the idle Pikmin over again. What more is there to do? Because now we're at 73% of the way through. Looking through the map, we got it all explored. I know that there is um, this battle, but then over here, we have another Dandori thing. So I guess I should go to that now, with the remaining time that we have left over. I think that'll probably be our most helpful thing. So that was down here, across that bridge. We got it, we got it. And then after that, maybe we could go save Louie. It really depends. There might be some kind of hidden underground treasure as well. I'm really gonna try to get to 100% today. So we're just trying to make the most out of the time. Okay, rush over here. And it was right across here that we have all this to deal with. So, hi. We just saved one leafling, time to save another. <laughs> These leaflings, they really are all over the place, huh? Dandori anytime, Dandori anywhere. Dandori over and over and over again. Maybe not over and over. <laughs> that gets a little repetitive, right? Wow, how many castaways have been turned into leaflings? Never mind. we need to rescue them all. Well, hopefully we're getting through some more of them, but new cave discovered, I'm hopping in to help. This is the planning pools. Collect all the treasures and creatures within the timeline. We just did one of these, we're about to do another, so we sort of get the idea. This is my cave. You are here to train Dandori. Train, train, and train some more. All right, well, let's train Dandori. I see some yellow Pikmin up here that we wanna immediately grab so that they can work on this. And I think that you can work on it now too, so that's great. While we have these blue Pikmin, what can we do with these? Um, it looks like we could probably, maybe just get started with this five, uh, these five things. Yeah, we haven't really been in this aquarium themed area in a while, so this is pretty neat. I like it a lot, and I think it looks like Ochi's coming over here. Hey, buddy. Um, Good thing you're here, because you can go deal with that. We can jump over to this side and start working on whatever we else we find. So a group over here, a group over there, all sorts of stuff. I think more yellow Pikmin to that will be our best first thing to do. And then over here, get these Pikmin to beat up this little crab thing. They might be able to get it. Yeah, let's try to sneak up behind them, because we don't want to get bubbled up. That's almost it, perfect. So. With that done, one, two, three, call over some idle Pikmin, but more importantly, Ochi, because we want to tackle you here, and then have, oh, are you ice? You might be ice, I hope not. Um, And then charge, ah, oh, it doesn't work that way, and I, I don't like it. Uh, Here, let's see, are you ice or water? I really hope that, okay, Ochi ate it, it is ice, darn, okay. No, 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 come on, that is not what I wanted. Um, uh, Hop off, have Ochi charge it, just like this. Then I want him to go eat the duck. Come on, Ochi. Come on. No, Ochi, eat it, eat it. No, come on. Oh my gosh. There. Um, You defeated it one way or another. That's not really what I wanted you to do, but it's what you did. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Call over the, the Pikmin that are just hanging out. Ooh, this is so silly. Um, we do have some eggs that we could break open, but I think I'll save that part for later. Um, I mean, I guess we'll do this for now. Call these two over. See a lot of yellow Pikmin hanging out over this way, so you know what, we'll all work together. Hop on top of Ochi here in a moment. And then what's the deal with this? I mean, I think that, once again, ride Ochi, go over here, and then I guess this, are you serious? Okay, never mind. we won't do it that way. Uh, we'll do it like this, because the water Pikmin should be able to get that handled. Over here though, there is some stuff to fight for sure. Anything in this bush? More Pikmin to find, okay, cool. Ready, boom, got you real good with that one. Pick you back up, do one, two, three. Over here, one, two, one, two. There's stuff all over the place to get to, so I'm just trying to be productive. And then with this stuff. Yeah, everybody have some, just so that they can start blooming. And then we're hopping back on. I wanna jump up here. I love that noise. Okay. And then we're just gonna try to help out with this. I think the good thing I can do here is charge like that, and then we can give a couple of chomps, and that's gonna finish you off fantastic. Save the yellow Pikmin first and foremost, and then do that. Actually, yeah, okay. This is gonna be best for now, I think. So I will have to have them work on the, the gold stuff soon, but. I think that's where these blue Pikmin 
can help out. So, if I get like a whole bunch of them to start chipping away there, that's gonna be pretty nice. We're not quite done though. I mean, I do see this big tin. I don't know what to do about this. Can we push stuff over? We need 10 Pikmin for it, okay. So we'll do that, hop off here, and see how many Pikmin we need for this. I need a bunch of yellow Pikmin. So get everybody to work, call over the idols. There we go. And then yeah, everybody, because we need 10 yellow Pikmin, I'm guessing, for this, right? Yep, 10. So we can get that there, throw over a group for that, and then get everybody else back together. I think that we just need to charge Ochi over here, start fighting you a little bit, and then come combo that yeah, with the rest of everybody else. We can get a lot of good stuff done. So do that, one, two, three Pikmin over here, and then a huge bunch over here. Remember that the yellow Pikmin dig faster than any of the other type of Pikmin. I don't see anything else going on down that way, but uh, they're gonna get that figured out, so the rest of them can follow me. Uh, gathering Pikmin. If just get whatever Pikmin are needed. So we need to go all the way on the other side and basically do the same thing again. So call over some more friends if we need to. And then try to fight this big guy. He's gonna block a lot of our Pikmin, but eventually he swings at us, right? He throws all those bubbles out, which I don't like dealing with, but come on. Ooh, they'll all hop on and they'll do a lot of damage, but some of them get really bubbled up. Oh no, he's eating some of them. Ooh, not good. We're losing Pikmin from this pretty fast. Ooh, this is sort of a disaster. Come on, call them over, call them over. But well, we got you halfway down with that. Move over here, okay, Ochi, help. I didn't know you could come over here. You need to help right now, because we're losing Pikmin. The past have a bronze medal. Okay, okay, Ochi, please help. There we go. If I knew Ochi could get over here, I would have done that way sooner. Um, Pluck all these so we can get some more. And then ride, no, ride. Call some Pikmin over. Work on this if we can. Excellent. Jump off of Ochi. Go over here to push this thing over. Now that we've done that, we can ride Ochi again. Um, why did they separate like that? I don't know. Uh, but what I would rather have done here is Ochi can pick up that one. Everybody else can pick up this next thing. Um, got it. And then whatever Pikmin are left over can go to this call over any idle Pikmin, because I think that's really gonna be it for this area, except for the, the gold pieces over there, which for some reason, I guess is just still being worked on. Okay, so whatever Pikmin are free. We have less than a minute left. I don't know if we'll be able to do it all in time. I sort of just messed up a lot of stuff, so it gets a little concerning. Um, so what would be faster here is if I get Ochi over, Ochi can deal with this. Run over here as fast as we can, because we still have some some golden ones over here. So we sent this whole group to deal with that, then rush back over to the other side and hopefully do more of the same with this. But then the crab is another issue. So maybe I don't even need to do that if I could just, there we go. We're almost at platinum. We might be able to do it. Um, it really just matters on how many extra Pikmin we can get to help with this. Um, go, go, go. There we go, they're gonna push it even faster now. Uh, Dandori genius, thanks a bunch, come on. Help out any way I can, really move that stuff over, because that really should be the last of it. So it's really, really close. 10 seconds remaining, though. Will they be able to do it in time? The time goes by fast. Come on, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come on, come on, yes, with the last moment, I think. No, it didn't count. Oh, that's the worst. Get out of here with that one. All right, well, we still did pretty good. We got a gold medal. I think I'll just do this one some other time, but oh, what a heartbreaker. <laughs> it was literally as close as we could get to platinum without getting in. So incredible. I feel dizzy and 30 priests of raw material is your reward. All right, well, he's out cold. You did it, come on. Let's get the castaway out of here, Zebra. I would love to. All right, we're out of there. With all the leaf growth, there's no way to tell who this is. But it doesn't matter, it's our job to rescue them, we'll close the lid, all that kind of stuff. And this is good for now. So, I don't know how much time we have left. I don't know, we still have a lot of time today. So, one, two, three over here. If we take a look, we're at 86% of the way through. I think the first thing I wanna do is get Ochi to start sniffing out to see if there's anything more to do. What treasures might be able to be found? Because there's probably gotta be some kind of hidden treasure, right? No? 
Hmm, he's not picking up on anything. So no hidden treasures on the ground. The onion. Any hidden onions? Nope. Which means I think we're mostly good. We're just gonna be running over because I don't see any other caverns or anything else. Yeah, we're just gonna be going and taking on Louie now. And hopefully with that, we'll get this whole area 100% complete. So let's uh, also do that to have them help. And it was right over this way. So we've done a really good job now clearing out all of a uh, giant's hearth. It was right over here that Louie jumped in before. So I'm guessing he's still over there. These guys are slowly walking over with, I wanna make sure that gets delivered because if not, I'll totally forget later. And I don't want that to happen. So we're at 86%, that should jump us up another good percentage. So I felt the first half of this area was definitely a lot harder to explore, just sort of figuring out the area. But once we got it figured out, we could complete things pretty quickly. All right, they're almost there. And with that done, I don't know. Like, if we defeat Louie here, will that just be the end of the game? Are we about to run into the second ending of the game? Guess we'll have to wait and see. All right, so zip them up. Very nice. I can't help myself. I'm checking the Leafling's ID info. And it's nothing. No surprises here. Hmm, why did I think it would be different this time? So we're at 86% still, so that didn't jump up the percentage at all. But it doesn't matter, maybe this will jump it up 14% when we go through this cavern. We're gonna find out together by just jumping over here. And hopping in, let's take on Louie in the hot sandy duel. Rescue the Coppite. Your Pikmin cannot join you. Unfinished tasks on the surface will be called off. Let's go for it. Oh man, I hope we can win. Oh no. Wait, you're gonna turn them into it. Oh no. Don't do it, I thought they were gonna turn them into a leafling. Huh, is this for real? Louie, wait. Oh no, 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 I don't think we have enough cures. Oh, it didn't work. Ugh, we didn't make it in time. No, but look closely. They look totally fine. What? Why didn't they become a leafling? What's going on here? I'm not sure, but he's not being cooperative. Louis, it's Alomar. Can you hear me? I guess not. Louis. Um, he's not even listening. That's unfortunate. Guess we'll have to rescue the castaway by force. There's no way to predict his next move, so be careful. You say that again. Oh, hey, where did they go? I don't know, but I guess maybe it's better that they're out of the way for the battle. We need to get as many Pikmin as possible to deal with all of this stuff. So just whatever pellets we can find, it looks like there might be a few more out this way too. And one of those, uh, here we go, very nice. One of those uh, fires, so I'll bring some friends over like this. Toss them over there too. And then let's get this dealt with as much as possible. They might jump up in points ahead of us sooner, but I think that in general, we'll do pretty good here. So let's call you over again. Burn this stuff away. Um, oh no, we need to fight more. Fight more, fight more. There we go. Get rid of you as much as I can. We get an item over here too. Uh, I don't need to be on top of Ochi at the moment. Please get me off. Okay, why are the buttons not working? There we go. Um, and I just want Ochi over there. Deal with this little orange thing. There is a double bonus though. So let's claw over as many Pikmin as we can because it's gonna be this big fiery guy and I wanna deal with them as soon as possible. So you know what, before we do any of that, fight this monster. And then we will charge with Ochi just like this. Boom, stun you off pretty good there. And then just pu fight, punch, do whatever we gotta do. We almost got you. excellent. So, whoa, what was that? What was that? I don't know. Um, Was that Louis' move? I have no clue. Uh, we got a couple Pikmin over there. Um, another 12 over here if we can manage. All right, that was 12. So one, two, three. Haven't really caught up with what Louis is doing at the moment, but we can send a lot of stuff over here. What are you doing over here? Get out of here, Moss. Don't you dare try to fight us. No, 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 wait. That's not what I wanted. Everybody's helping out. Uh, one, two, three. We can get some strawberries over because it's all over this way. So I'll call over whatever Pikmin are still chilling. Looks like these ones. Cause it looks like, yeah, they're just right over this way. I'm gonna pick up this item then, and I will start working on this. And then yeah, throw rocks at you. How do you like that? Uh, oh no, they might hit me too. What do you think you guys are doing over here? No, no, no. We'll call everybody over then, it'll be a big fight. I think I can hit harder than Moss can. Guess we'll see in just a moment. Ow, <laughs> hold on. One, two, three over here. 
and then don't you dare. Those are mine. Okay, so Ochi can help out. Ooh, we knocked Moss out, right? Yeah, collect that bonus find if you don't mind. Okay, they got Moss. Yes, we did. It's not much you can do about it, huh? Okay, actually, I want that thing for sure. Ah, no way, I think some of my Pikmin got squished from that. Sneak Bomb has appeared. Where is the question? I need more Pikmin out here as soon as possible. I don't know where the Sneak Bomb is at the moment, but there's not many Pikmin over this way. So maybe I just get everybody over. And if I could get, yeah, you to steal that, that'd be huge actually. And then I can get some Pikmin over here for sure. Outnumber them as much as possible. Oh no you don't, no you don't. That's all us. Come on, keep fighting it, keep fighting it. I don't think they can really beat it. And then we can use an item here in just a moment, but where is the sneak bomb? Um. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's really gonna cause an issue for them. But be really good for us. We have a bunch of Pikmin over here we can get though. Um, and some Pikmin we're getting beat up over here. Okay, they were sort of idly walking around. We stole the orange from you. That was great. I don't know if these enemies, yeah, these enemies are doubled up again. And then Moss or Ochi, deal with this. Gotcha. And then maybe Ochi can move that. Maybe they won't, I don't know. <laughs> this is so intense so far. We're doing really good. There's just so much more to be done. Um, oh, there it is, the sink bomb. Okay, the gold sniffer is mine. Gold sniffer? What is he talking about? Look, you can put the bonus fine. Okay, I will soon. Send a bunch of Pikmin over that way. Have you help? Hey, leave! No, OG! That's not what I wanted. Okay, this is sort of a mess. I'm sort of panicking a little bit. Um, I thought I picked up the ability there. I guess I did. There we go. Um, and then send a bunch of Pikmin to deal with all this stuff too. We need one more over here, and with the time ticking, I just really am trying to get a move on and everything. Um, okay, what else can we do around here? There's still some, you know, bonus finds. I'm sure we could help with, but uh, there's just so much. Okay, Ochi, get over here, buddy. I want you to. Yeah, knock, wait, wait, come on over, come on over. It's not going super well for me, but I can, boom, do that. Is it, it it's approaching me? Uh, no, I didn't see it! I was so focused on that stuff, I thought that my Pikmin still had it, oh no! No! <laughs> oh gosh. All right, well, we can get all of our stuff back, right? Um, maybe with enough time, let's zap everybody as much as we can then, and just call all of our Pikmin over to grab this stuff back, because if we do, I think we'll be back in the lead, right? Their Pikmin are all over us, though, which I don't appreciate. Go, 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 come on. Everybody, just bring this stuff back in. But while I'm so focused on this, it's very unfortunate. Why is it not moving? Because it needs 10. Come on, no way, they might be me. They might not, though. Come on, uh, if we just move fast here, I think we can get it back, but they're making more points. Is he really gonna beat me here? It's none of the Pikmin are focusing on one thing when that's all I'm trying to get them to do. So frustrating, because we were in the lead so much, and then we got destroyed. Ah, oh, I'll have to do it again. So far, I'm not the biggest fan of the battles. I feel like they're my least favorite part of the game, but I definitely need to just improve them. Now go away. This indoor skills are pretty advanced. I don't think that the usual plan of attack will work against this guy. I mean, we almost won, I just mixed up, so I'm just gonna try again. Uh, hey newbie, looks like you're in a bit of a pinch. Want some top notches? I wanna try again myself and see if I can't win this time. Okay, so as you can see, I got the sneak bomb coming in, but with Ochi, which makes a huge difference. There's a golden pair over here too. Oh, he's gonna be in so much trouble now. This feels way better. Now that I'm on top of that one, Ochi being the one to work on all that there was a huge deal for sure. Let's get over to this fire slug. Go crazy on it. Fire Pikmin should be able to deal with that pretty quickly. And then, yeah, Ochi, go deal with this one. Um, call these Pikmin over, pick this up. Um, grab that, only takes three Pikmin, so we'll do that. I'll get over here, try to get some more stuff. Lightning strike them as much as possible, because they're down to 39 points. I'm not even trying to steal their stuff back. I mean, it looks like I could, but why do I even want to bother with that when I could just do stuff over here? So it looks like they're trying to steal stuff away from me, but we got the, we got a lot of stuff there. <laughs> there we go, one minute remaining, and we're doing so, so well. Hey, now, I mean, I think we are. Got a lot of Pikmin just chilling out over this way that were sort of knocked out. Okay, now this stuff is good. Okay, let's go and fight Moss. I think we'll be able to knock Moss out for a few moments. Come on, come on. That's not really working super well. Where's the rest of my Pikmin? They're all over here. So when they get knocked down, you can't just call them back up. Where's Ochi? I want Ochi to come over here. Come here. Because we have more important things to do. Um, I do see a lot of stuff over here. 
but Ochi can just charge this. Come on, Ochi. Yeah, Ochi, do you have something? I don't understand. Uh, boom, gonna do that, and then Ochi can just pick this up himself. Uh, that's not what I wanted in the slightest. All right, uh, call whatever pick that I have over. We're dominating him this time. We have so many more points. There's no way he can possibly catch up. He's still bringing back the stuff from the sneaky bomb. I think we just won this. So yeah, with 252 points in the lead, yeah, you can take whatever bonus points you want, Louie. We won this one. <laughs> Awesome, so more than twice the score, you can see we jump up so, so much, and we win. So that should definitely be a platinum trophy, much better. You dominated by at least 100. See if there's our platinum. Hmm. I guess Louis is leaving, but that allows us to save the uh, veterinarian. Louis, he's, why is he running away? Right now, our priority is getting this castaway to safety. Rescue the copite. So many questions, so many questions. So while we couldn't quite catch Louie, we saved Nell, the veterinarian. I still don't get it. Why didn't they become a leafling? I was wondering the same thing. Great question, but we need to focus on a rescue mission. Back to the SS Beagle. So yeah, let's go ahead and bring this person back as soon as possible, because we probably won't have too much time. Actually, let's not do that. I need to use the blue pick to get past this little part of the river. So yep, just do that to move it, move it, move it. But here's hoping, yeah, we're at 99% at the moment. So once that um, person gets brought back, that should be a full 100%. I guess we'll see soon enough. Oh, there's some stuff over here too. So uh, let's do that. Send Ochi, and, and this will probably just be more materials, but it'll be very easy to deliver it. So that's nice. There it is. So yeah, they'll bring it all back. Another dirt mound excavated. We still technically have a little bit of time left over, so if this isn't quite 100%, I guess I'll figure it out soon. Let's take a look at their ID badge. York, this isn't Nell at all. A treasure hunter from the home planet of Kapai. Grandson of the famous Kopai scientist, Dr. Drake and partner of Don Bergman. He's talented at rewiring communication services, so we had it wrong the whole time. York, you're all right, buddy? Speak to me. He appears to be unconscious. Let him rest for now. We'll have plenty of time for questions once he wakes up. I thought that was Nell. Did we just get that, did I just get that mixed up at some point? Oh, uh, <laughs> I guess so. Um, you rescued Nell's companion, York. He may know where she is. As soon as he wakes up, we'll find out what he has to say. Maybe I was the one who missed some details there. Explored 100% of this area though, so that's awesome. Hold on, get that one back in there. But there we go, we did it. We explored 100% of the um, giant's hearth and with it we sail saved York. Not now, sorry. Um, but yeah, with this done, I think we're gonna get out of here. We can just end the day since there's not really anything more for us to do. Let's end it. Quite an exciting time though. We got quite a few caverns done and we fought Louie. Even though we won, if it wasn't enough for him to stick around, he ran off right after. All right, well, we'll have some other time to try it out a bit more. Right now, we're heading back home. There's gotta be a whole new area to explore though, so that's gonna be really exciting. We've made it back home with at least one more companion. Actually, a few, because we also got a couple of leaflings, so we're definitely gonna have to have a night expedition soon to earn up more cures. York, thank goodness you're all right. Dobbs, you're safe. I am. Nell, on the other hand, I know you're still getting your bearings, but do you have any idea where she might be? Sorry, but no, I lost sight of her early on. Guess I'm a pretty slow runner. Then you really, then you really were the last person to see her, Dobbs. Can you remember anything else? Which direction she might, she, she and the dog ran? Oof, let me try to put myself back in that spot. Hmm, I remember something. The giant dog carried her deeper into the forest, way past where I'd fallen down. He, he. I don't believe our radar can effectively reach that area. The SS Shepherd's radar signal has already been boosted close to its limit. I'm not sure we'll be able to extend the reach any further. Would you mind if I took a look at it? I'm pretty good with machines. Ooh, here we go. First we do a little of this, then a little of that. All done, we're good to go. Wow, that was amazing to witness. Let's inject the sparkling and see what happens. So I don't know how many we would have needed, but we have plenty. So all filled up on Sparklium. Let's see if this ship can reach farther places. All 
All right, here we go. Mission Cure Ochi, further upgraded the radar. Nell was apparently carried off by a huge... Nell was apparently carried off by a huge dog. She should be in the newly discovered area. Let's rescue her and save Ochi. So I'm going to remove the limiter and start up the radar again. Let's see what it does. Ooh. Let's see. That did it! I can't believe there are so many SS SOS signals coming from that unexplored area. The scientific prowess on Kapai seems to be remarkably close to my own. I won't underestimate them from now on. One of those signals could be coming from Nell. Saving her is our top priority. Exploration results for day 35, though, we found three new friends, two of which were leaflings. Our pup drive goes up the four, and we get t only two sparkling or sparkly um, things. We got the four girl brothers and the ice sword. But with that, we 100% completed that area. Yep, 50 to 100 is quite the leap. The investigation is complete. Awesome, we also found the rock Pikmin onion, which was huge. All right, tomorrow let's explore a new area. I would love to, so. We read that update that set the world abloom and cure the leaflings is also still making some progress. We're doing great with everything and we'll continue to do great in Rescue Mission Day 36. All right, good morning, OG. And maybe we'll cure those two leaflings right away. I don't know how much cure we have left over. Thank you again for saving us. I don't think we'd be alive if not for you. York, that reminds me. We saw you get sucked up into that onion, but you seem completely normal. Are there any sort of abnormalities that we're missing? Any leaves growing on you at all? Um, not that I've noticed. So strange, I can't help but wonder why you didn't turn into a le leafling. Uh, the juice? Oh, the juice! Oh yeah! I bet it's because of all that glowing juice we drank. They've built up an immunity to the leafling. Of course, you were ingesting nearly pure glow sap, so that leaves, so the leaves must have been broken down before they could sprout. It's just a theory, but an interesting one at that. I don't suppose you'd let me conduct an examination later. <laughs> if Yanni's theory is correct, then Nell may not be, have been turned into a leafling either. You'll still rescue her though, right? Yes, please, we need your help. Calm down now. Of course we intend to rescue her. That's what we do. Nell is waiting for us deep in the forest. Let's hurry up and find her. We can't let her and Ochi down. Copy that. Okay, well it seems like we have a lot on our plate to do next time around. I guess we don't have any cures, uh, but if I take a look here, our ID badges, we cleared out a couple more things, and our re rescue journal, Shepherd Family History number eight. Many years have passed since we began, first began to make this land our new home. Still, we need more time to complete our environmental adaptations. In the meantime, we must survive so that one day we can pass down this new history to our children and pass down the ways we've learned to rescue and protect everyone. One day, we will live here in peace. Mark Shepard, the second captain. Cool, so I'm glad to get those updates. And if I were to just talk to you really quickly, um, if the medicine doesn't work on Ochi, that just means I have to do more research. I just wanna see, are the expiration of areas are available at night. Yeah, so we'll probably do this, night expeditions in Giant's Hearth next time around. But um, for now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pikmin 4. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.